guys so today i'm going to be talking about my paralympic swimming journey so i started paralympic swimming in february 2012 at the olympic training center in colorado springs i am in s1 in paralympic swimming so there is 10 classifications in paralympic swimming for physical disabilities. S1 through S10 is for people with a physical disability. S11 through S13 is for people with visual impairments. And S14 is for people with intellectual disabilities. So I am classified as an S1, which is the most severely physically disabled. And I got classed as an S1 at that meet in Colorado. And that meet was the Jimmy Flowers meet. It was a meet in honor of a US Paralympic swim coach named Jimmy Flowers, who made a big impact on my life. I met him when I was nine years old at a meet where I was watching my friends swim. And he really encouraged me to get off the bench and start swimming. So this meet is an, the meet was in honor of him and I really wanted to start my Paralympic swimming journey at that meet. So I had an amazing time at that meet. I got to meet so many awesome people. I got to swim and compete against people that had similar abilities in the water where before I would mainly swim in able-bodied meets. So after that meet, I went to, I qualified for U.S. Paralympic Trials in 2012. And that was in Bismarck, North Dakota. Bismarck, North Dakota's airport only has four gates, which I thought was really cool. And I really like Bismarck. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it is a cool city to have a Paralympic trials and I really enjoyed myself. I did not make the 2012 Paralympic team and I was just going for the experience of what it was like, but I was really excited to see all of my friends and teammates that I just made. They, most of them made the team and I was really excited to watch them in London through YouTube. So. I started swimming through aquatic therapy when I was three at Cleveland Clinic Children's and then when I and then I went to more swim therapy at another facility and then when I was nine I went to the French I went to a YMCA and I got to be with um, a coach that was a swim instructor who was my swim coach for eight years and she still is and she's awesome and we went to a lot of meets and we got to go through two team usa meets and training and all that so that's awesome and i really support people that have good coach athlete relationships because i truly believe it is the way to success for athletes if you communicate with your coach and if you trust your coach. And I also genuinely very much like my coach as a person. So that is also really helpful. I have another coach who has been coaching me for five years now and he is awesome as well. We work together now um, and we I'm really enjoying being coached by him and I'm just really enjoying the my Paralympic swimming journey still. So after Paralympic swimming trials, I went to a meet in Georgia called the Fred Lambeck meet. And that is a meet that is open. There's no time standards for it. And it's a really awesome meet to go to. And I really enjoyed that as well. I got to meet more friends. And then in 2013, I went to my first Canadian and American Championships, which is a swim meet between Canada and USA and other countries as well. 
and there's time standards for that and I was really happy that I met them and I got to go for my first Can-Ams and experience what it's like. It is set up as a three-day meet. It is um, prelims and finals for each day. We swim in the morning for prelims and then you go back for finals at night. I was really proud of myself for how I did. And then a week later, I found out that I made the 2013 US World Championship team. I was 11, so I didn't, I was very excited. And I w was excited that a lot of my friends that I made were also on the team. So I went to World Championships in Montreal, which was in August of 2013. I love Montreal, I love Canada. Montreal is a beautiful city and it truly was beautiful to be around and I just love seeing all of it. So I had a really good meet in Montreal. I only swam the 50 meter backstroke for S2. I swam up a class and I got to swim against the best in the world, which was truly an amazing and phenomenal experience. I am so incredibly grateful that I got to be able to represent my country and to meet so many amazing people and to swim a personal best time. So that was in August 2013 and I will put the link below of my of me swimming the 50 meter backstroke of my event video. And then I went to another Canadian American Championships in Edmonton, Canada in December which was, Edmonton is an awesome city, but it is very cold in the winter. And then in 2014, I went to Miami for Canadian American Championships, where I loved Miami, it was very nice. And then I made the 2014 Pan Pacific team. The Pan Pacific team, Pan Pacific is a championship meet held every four years. It is held in either USA, Japan, and other countries that are along the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. I got to swim four events that time. I swam the 100 backstroke, the 100 freestyle, the 50 back, and the 50 free. I broke a Pan American record in the 100 meter backstroke which I was not expecting or I didn't really know that the record was even existed so I was really happy about that I was really happy that I got to represent my country again and I got to swim four times and I met amazing people the past Pasadena is a beautiful city in California and I really just enjoyed my time and then I went to a meet in Edmonton again for 2014 and then I took a little break from swimming just to figure out if I would keep swimming or not and I decided that I do and so then I went back to swimming in June 2015 and I have been still swimming ever since I am a lot happier now and I'm doing a lot my swimming now is more of what I want to do and I took more charge of it and I realized that this is what I want to do and I took more responsibility for my swimming which is always a good thing I think that swimmers should want to be want to do swimming and if they don't then they just you gotta figure out what you love and what you and it may take some time to figure it out but it is worth the time figuring out what you love and all that so I did and then in so I went to my first meet back in Bismarck again which I thought was ironic considering I went to my first big meet in Bismarck and now I'm going back and I absolutely enjoyed myself that meet I got to see so many amazing friends I got to hang out with my Team USA family and I just truly enjoyed myself and I swam pretty well. And then in 2016, I went to a meet in Cincinnati. I went to a meet at the Olympic Training Center. 
again. And then 2017, I went back to, um, I went to Canada again. I went to Windsor this time for another Canon Canadian American Championship. And then I went to my first World Para Swim Series. World Para Swim Series is a circuit of competitions held around the world and you get points for your classification and it's really awesome. I the USA one is held in Indianapolis at the IU Auditorium and I really enjoyed myself. I've been to the World Series twice in Indianapolis and I'm going again in April, which is really exciting. I've met some amazing people there and the pool is absolutely phenomenal. And then this year I have not done any meets yet, but I'll be going to Indianapolis and then Cincinnati. And I just came back from Tucson, Arizona, where I went to 2018 U.S. Paralympic Nationals. And I loved that. I swam seven events. I, I swam the 50 freestyle, the 100 meter freestyle, the 200 meter freestyle, the 50 backstroke, the 100 backstroke, and the 50 fly and the 100 fly. There is no American record for the 100 fly, so I set the American record, which I was really happy with that. And I came home with six, I came home with five national titles. So that was really awesome, and I really enjoyed seeing everyone and just being in the atmosphere. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what Paralympic swimming is and what Paralympic swimming is about. So Paralympic swimming is parallel to the Olympics. Paralympics, the para and Paralympics mean parallel. And they are held every four years, like the Olympics, in the same venues, in the same um, arenas, in the same Olympic villages. They are held two weeks after the Olympics. And it is the same level of elite competition. Paralympic athletes just have a disability. And I am really grateful for our sponsors, BP, Toyota, who are awesome and they have, Toyota has really helped spread awareness for the Paralympics and so is BP. I also, so Paralympic swimming is a, one of the biggest sports in the Paralympics. It is one of the most popular and has been around for a very long time. It is I have been very fortunate to be a part of Paralympic swimming. I am truly grateful that I got to go to my first meet seven years ago this month and that I'm still continuing. And I want to thank all my coaches, all my teammates, and all of my friends and family for supporting me throughout these seven years and for always being my biggest supporters. Also, one of the most questions that I most asked question that I get is, is the Special Olympics and Paralympics the same? The Special Olympics is a wonderful organization, and but the Paralympics is different from the Special Olympics. It is mainly for people with physical disabilities, and I there is, so swimming has a class for people with mental disabilities as well. But Special Olympics is more for people with mental disabilities and more in a way, and it's just very, um, so they're different. They're not the same thing, but Special Olympics is a wonderful organization, and I have also been involved with them from time to time through my school, and I'm very grateful that I got to experience what Special Olympics is like, and I in 100% support of them. They are a phenomenal organization and they help so many people. So that is it. I, um, that is it. And I'm going to put some links below. You can ask me any questions or comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much and happy Super Bowl Sunday. Take back my life.